Hey guys, assuming you read the title, you may be shocked. Trust me, I am too. For those of you that know me, you're probably aware that I was a clothing designer and successful trader. Over the years, I have successfully expanded my wealth into the millions, but within a blink of an eye, it was gone. I'm Sarah, aka Foods, and this is my story. On February 17th, 2014, I joined Roblox. I had so much fun on Roblox and enjoyed it very much. I enjoyed it so much, I decided to buy Builders Club. From there, I began buying and selling limited items on the Roblox market for profit, earning more than I was spending, and eventually leaving me with 14,000 wrap. In 2016, with my wrap increasing, I learned about trading and gave it a try. Throughout my time as a trader, my wrap and value increased plenty. That 14,000 turned into hundreds of thousands from profiting through trading. Shortly into my trading career, I began YouTube. Many of you joined me along the way, watching and supporting my Roblox trading videos as those hundreds of thousands turned into millions. That profit allowed me to obtain expensive items that I've only dreamed about. Needless to say, I was excited beyond my wildest dreams. And just like that, it was gone. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that first minute of the video. I did my best to try to make it as interesting as possible. It took me quite a while. But anyways, yes, that's basically what happened. I lost uh, 3 million and here's what to see. So let's start with the cheapest item that they sold of mine. The first one, or technically this was the last one they had sold, but again, cheapest, was the green amaze face. The one I actually had was um, one a friend had given to me and I believe that it was serial number... Uh, or, or it didn't have a serial. I believe that's what it was. That it was, um, see how all these have like serial numbers like 3, 4, 7, 5 out of 10,000, 2,612 out of 10,000. Mine, basically, it didn't have a serial. And that's why I held on to it for so long. But of course, now it's gone. And that's that. The second item that was sold of mine was JJ5X5's white top hat. This hat definitely was one of my favorite hats. How could it not be? It looks great. It's always been one of my favorites. Ever, even since before I was able to actually get it, I've always liked this hat. This item, unlike the green amaze face, actually has a value. For those of you that aren't familiar with trading, there's such thing as wrap and value. Wrap is basically how much it sells for like in the market, and value is what people would be willing to give for it. Each item has their own wrap and value. This, right now, is worth 50000 but its wrap is 42000 So, unlike the green amaze face, the green amaze face was only worth its wrap because it was so small, but losing this was basically taking a 50,000 L. The next item, I am sad that this one was one of the ones that got taken. Again, the four big items that I did lose were my favorite. They looked really nice together. These headphones are beautiful. Pink's obviously one of my favorite colors if you've seen my channel, so sad to see this go. Anyways, the value of this item is 90,000, so losing this, I basically lost 90,000. Now on to the big items. This is my pink sparkle time fedora. I love this hat. This has been one of my this has been the dream hat of my Roblox career. I love this hat. I got it for I got it when it was about like 300,000. I think I gave like 340,000 when it was worth uh, like 320 or 300. And I gave so much because I, you know, I really wanted it. Due to Roblox inflation, even though I had gotten it for 340,000, the value began to rise. Since I didn't trade it, that 340,000 is now a million. So losing this hat, I lost a million value. You can actually see on the chart for this one of when it sold. So here's what it normally sells for, or, you know, millions or whatever. And here's like recent sales. It actually didn't sell for, I guess, that low in comparison to other sales. But these could have also been similar cases where someone was hacked and it was also sold. And now the big kicker, the nail in the coffin, Black Valk. This one, this one's just depressing because this one just reached 2 million value. This I had gotten for 840000 I made a video on it. The video was pretty successful. You guys really liked the video. And 
a lot of people, I guess, knew me by that black Velk and pink Sparkle Time, my little combo I had. And so having that gone is kind of pooey, but again, it is what it is. And with this, you can also see where they had sold it. It had just sold for 1,800,000, and they sold mine for 750,000. Feels bad, man. Okay, so here's where you can see all my items they have sold. Here's the Black Valk for 750,000, Pink Sparkle Time Fedora for 500,000, JJ5X5's White Top Hat for 25,000, WC Ultimates, Pink Diamond Distraction for 50,000, and Green Amaze Vase for a measly 1,000. So along with taking my limiteds, or as I should say, selling them, another thing they also did was go into my groups and also steal group funds. The least of what was taken was in my Foods YouTube group, and they took 1,721 of the group funds, which was basically all that was in it. As you can see, I have 15 from people buying shirts and whatnot. Thank you, I hope you like them, but yeah. Unlike the other group, with this one, they did it a bit different. With my Foods YouTube group, what they did is they distributed the group funds to my account and then purchased a shirt from a different account to transfer the funds. With this one, what they did is they actually joined with, you know, a throwaway account, an account they aren't going to use, Ali1961, in case you guys see it or whatever, don't trust, obviously. But chances are they're probably not even really going to go on that account much once they have everything from it. But continuing, they distributed the funds straight to the account. They also did the same thing for my third group, Foods Clothing. Now this one, this one is kind of a bummer because... With my clothing and stuff, this group was um, pretty active. Since getting hacked, I have 78 more Robux. That's not, I guess, quite a lot for clothing or whatever compared to these big designers. But nonetheless, it was still a popular group. I've still sold quite a lot of clothing. And I've had more Robux than what was in the group. But I have, you know, distributed through group funds or whatever over time. But like I said, I've been inactive for the last nine months. So I didn't really... I wasn't really sure what was there. I also, you know, didn't think it'd be taken, so <laughs> that wasn't a concern. But yeah, they uh, distributed 14,391 group funds to the same user, Ali1961. Here's where we can see what they bought with my Robux. As you can see, these three items on the top, those were stuff I had bought, just ignore those. But these three right here from August 5th, 2020, I didn't buy these. These were from the Robux that the people have gotten from selling my limiteds. As you can see, they're insane amounts. 500,000, 393,000, 36,000. And to put this into perspective, to buy Robux through the Roblox website, I believe it's $10 per every 1,000 Robux. So for that 500,000 Robux, that would be what? 500 times 10, which is $5,000? $5,000 US dollars, basically, if you were to buy. 500,000 Robux. It would, of course, be less, you know, because the more you buy, the cheaper it is, whatever, but nonetheless, still a lot of money. Now, if we go to these groups, obviously, they're just throwaway groups. They're nothing, like, main, so going to this and seeing the users that are in it, it doesn't help me, because these are just throwaway accounts, and more than likely, the person who did do this, they don't care about Roblox. They... They probably have had accounts that have gotten banned and whatnot, but they're probably using a VPN or something to continue with Roblox, and they're just in it for the money and not, you know, for playing or anything. So in reality, they probably just don't care. Oh wow, look! The shirt is up, and this time it's for 375000 You know what that means? Someone else probably got hacked, and their Robux was sent to that. So who knows how much Robux has been in this group. Now the second group, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but... This is the group that they had me buy the same shirt twice and they changed the price in between. If we look at my transactions, we see I purchased Doctor twice, once for 393000 and again for 36000 Now that you guys have seen basically the aftermath of this entire thing, the question is still left of how did it happen? That is something I am not sure of because I am very careful with what I click. I don't download anything. The only thing I have clicked recently were Roblox messages of Roblox clothing that people have sent to me. I have blocked out any usernames that may have been involved in this just in case there's any backlash because I don't think these people 
did anything. I don't think it was from them. These look like legitimate links. I've uh, sent them to other people and they've checked them out for me. And they said everything looks fine. So I really don't think these people had anything to do with it. But it is part of this. So I am just going to put it here in case it has anything. But that's the only thing I have clicked recently. And my account was hacked about four days afterwards. So I don't know if that could have been part of it. It definitely is a little bit coincidental. But other than those messages, I didn't download anything. I didn't click anything else. I generally am very careful. A lot of you guys may know this about me. One of my main mottos is don't trust anyone. And I still mean that. Do not trust anyone. Even if someone is your Roblox best friend or whatever, and you want to give them your password, don't do it. Because there's been so many cases where these people are best friends or whatever the case is and someone is out losing stuff and someone is either crying or just sad and it's just, it's really depressing. So just for your safety, don't trust anyone. It's just a lot easier, trust me. A lot of other people will tell you the same thing. It is speculation that the hacker had gotten into my Roblox account by convincing the Roblox support team that my account was originally theirs and that they had gotten locked out of the account from me and they wanted the email to be switched. So what they did is they had Roblox change my account's email to their email and from there they were probably able to, you know, to hack my account and whatnot. I didn't see anything that someone was trying to get into my account because normally when you try to log in with two-step, you'll see something on your screen that says, um, this person logged in and it'll give them like their city and state or if they're in another country or whatever, it'll give them like a basic location. And I didn't see anything like that. I've seen prior ones, but they were all, you know, my location. Nothing that was new, nothing that was even recent. So it really didn't make sense. And the more people I tell this to, the more people are like, what is this? And the more people are getting scared because this really seems unavoidable. So all in all, what is the lesson of this? There really isn't one. The only lesson that can be given from this is Roblox's security is garbage. I obviously didn't bring this upon myself. The only possibility is that perhaps someone could have had my cookies from like a year ago or something and just waited to strike, but I don't see that as a possibility. I mean, I was inactive for nine months. If you're gonna strike, why not strike then? It really didn't seem like I was gonna come back either, because I also, I didn't plan on coming back. It really wasn't an option or whatever because of school and whatnot but with this pandemic it became more of an option and that's why i decided to do so anyways i don't know if that is what happened i really don't think so i can't see anyone who would just wait nine months or however long to strike that why it didn't look like i was coming back so i'm not trying to scare you guys but this is definitely something that has to go out there and there's nothing I could have done to prevent it. In reality, it's Roblox's issues. They've had issues like this for a very, very long time. Many people have been getting hacked, especially recently. I was only one of the people. I heard earlier this year a user by the name of Quatos was hacked or slash compromised and lost 40 million. That is insane. That's like one of the richest Roblox accounts on the platform. And he lost it all. And it's actually speculated that the person who did that was involved in my hacking as well so i don't know it's when people picture roblox they picture like little kids playing adopt me but there's really just a whole darker side to it and it's honestly disgusting i i, I can't put that out enough and i know i'm pretty like nonchalant in this video and that's because i am i'm glad it happened now rather than two years ago when i was really involved in the game because now I can look at it and be like, wow, that sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Wow, so ironic. Right at the end, when I finished recording, I started DMing someone on Discord, and they sent me this screenshot. This along with another one. Basically, these two people were hacked. This person, they lost 13 million on July 15th, 2020. But they were able to get a rollback. But once they got their rollback, they got hacked again and lost everything again. Roblox, what the f What? Why? This is just this is just case in point to everything I've been saying. Everything 
these other traders and people have been saying. It's just, Roblox has to fix their stuff. It's ridiculous at this point. The other person in the screenshot lost almost 200,000, and they weren't able to get a rollback, even though their case was similar to mine, to where they didn't download anything, they didn't click any links, they have no idea what happened, and they lost their stuff for good. That sucks. Case in point, two people that prove the stuff I was saying. Roblox, you need to fix your stuff. Come on, man. This, this sucks. This sucks for everyone. This sucks for the community. At this point, if they can't fix their stuff, they should just remove limiteds. What good does it do to Roblox anyways? All it does is just attract toxicity and it's gross, it's disgusting, I can't believe Roblox has turned to this. So this is the end of the video. This isn't how I thought it would end, I actually had recorded a different ending, but I'm replacing it with this one because, you know, new information. But. Yeah, this is just- it's total bullcrap. It shouldn't be happening, and the fact that it did happen is just insane. And part of the person's 13 million that they lost was a Dominus Infernus, which alone is worth 8 million, and that- that just sucks. I, I feel for this person. They're probably not gonna get a rollback, considering they just lost it again, and Roblox typically only gives one rollback, so... Man, Roblox, you just need to fix your stuff. That's all that can be said on this video. It's not even... It's not the user's fault, man. None of this should be able to have happened in the first place. And that's that. So, again, I hope you guys have some awareness from this video. And I'm sorry if it did scare you, but this can be scary to a lot of people because if you do own limited, you are a target. If you own maybe like less than 40,000, you might not be targeted as much, but if you own over like 150,000 or over 100,000 even, there's already a target on your head. Just it depends on who you come in contact with and it's, it's just so sad. It's, it's so, so sad. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Not sure when that'll be. I'll probably post an update to the situation, whether I get a rollback or don't. Who knows, maybe I'll get hacked again. Who knows. Anyways, I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.